Sea fishing with Ryan Fox. This is my thing outside of golf, yeah. Spend as much time as possible on the water at home. Top tips to fishing. You'll see the rod bend when you get a decent fish and you pretty much just want that. Spin that in. There you go. I was thinking this about you because obviously you hit it longer than pretty much anyone, right? Who, who's long, would you be the longest on European tour? I think statistically Rory had me last year. I played a few more events so I'd like to say yeah. that, that I probably averaged a little higher overall. Have we caught anything yet? Uh, it doesn't look like it. You've got to be patient for this game, haven't you? Yeah, you do. Been, I've had a couple of days on the water where you don't catch anything for four or five hours. Yeah. It's like shooting 80. <laughs> <laughs> if you come out on a boat, you just bring a few beers anyway. And exactly. It's, it well, I have well some over there. But my stomach's going a bit. Are you... It's all right, but I can tell I'm out on the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did warn you when we were coming out here. Come on. Oh, yep. There you go. Look at the size of that. There we go. <laughs> That's a first. Oh. Catching a, what is it? That's um, a place. Place, yeah. I've a little spots on him? I've never caught a place before. <laughs> I really struggled the first part of the year to get used to playing with the, with the guys I'd grown up watching on TV yeah, week sure. in, week out. Like who? Oh, like Rory, Stenson, yeah. Garcia. It's not, it wasn't just seeing them at a one-off event. It was, yeah, I, I'm kind of used to that, seen yep. that enough playing an Aussie, but when you're doing it every week, yeah. that's when it was like, oh wow, you know, I've actually, you know, my goal's always been to play on a major tour, and yeah. um, you know, Europe was... You've got to beat these guys to make money, basically. Yeah, exactly, and that, it, it took a little bit to go, well, well actually, I belong. It came in front of the reel. Well, there? Yeah. By that? That's it. Tackers. I've caught nothing. Oh, right. What a waste of time that was. <laughs> I'm out of one. The water's not helping me. My stomach's are fat just now. Not feeling good. I'm not sure this is the best idea, you know. So is it off, the offshore grounds are a bit out there? Yeah, we need to get... I mean, if you want real big fish, then we're, we're travelling uh, two hours. Yeah. Might be. You feeling a bit dicey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's gone. You got that too, didn't you? I did that on <laughs> top. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. Back in New Zealand playing amateur golf, we yeah. used to play with the girls a lot, and I ended up playing with Lydia a bunch. Oh, right. And yeah, that was that was that because you know I'd hit it forty or fifty by her, yeah. and she'd be off. How good is she? She, fan, uh, just phenomenal. Yeah. I mean. She'd hit a hybrid inside 10 foot yeah. most of the day and I'd have a wedge and just go, oh, damn it. <laughs> I, gotta hit, I gotta hit a good wedge shot. It's different golf. I mean, you know, yeah. I generally carried some bunkers and hit yeah, it in some course. places that you're probably not supposed to hit it, yeah, both yeah. good and bad. Yeah, and yeah. Um, she'd just plonk it down the solid, middle every solid. fairway, middle of the green. Had a lot of really good shots with long clubs, yeah. um, you know, hybrids and woods into greens that she'd hit, hit yeah. close, and it was actually scary good yeah. hitting. I'd barely, str I'd struggle to break 80 at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And you know, she shoot 65 most of the time. Yeah. Can you drop it in? Huh? Can you drop the rod in? You can. That's what I was thinking. I was going to drop it in. No. Same guy. Same thing. Same one, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. So we're going to try and see who can do the most keepy ups on the boat. Bearing in mind, my sea legs clearly aren't that good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't fancy my chances here. I'm going to suck anyway because really? the trick shots aren't my thing. No, just smash it in. Yeah, I can <laughs> yeah. do that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, the water's got all calm for him. A bit higher. Can we go through the leg? Ah, I hit it. Oh, it's well weird. Oh, that's not fair. The whole boat just moved. I missed it. Oh, oh, oh. go. Ah, oh, the annoying bit's not being thick. Oh, I'm gonna be. <laughs> I had Steve Williams on the bag for that week as well, which was cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, he's got some stories that we probably can't talk about. Lots of tiger stories. Tiger stories, yeah. <laughs> yeah I got, got, got plenty of those, but um, <laughs> the amount of shots that he used to hit that no one else could hit, you know, the, the ones out of bunkers at Canadian Open or yeah. whatever, 
that Tiger used to practice those. At the end of his practice sessions, would put himself in these impossible positions. So it's not just trap man on the range, it's going into no. the bunkers and yeah, going he, into he, places. Yeah, he'd go in there and he'd say, oh, Steve, what do you think I can get out of this? And Steve would go, I oh, know, eight iron. Mm. And Tiger wouldn't leave until he got five iron out of it kind of thing. And that's, you know, when you, can, when you know you can do it in practice, and do it enough times in practice, you know you can do it you know, in a tournament. And, um, you know, Tiger's pulled it off, off in some pretty impressive situations. And um, so is know. that something you've kind of took, took away and gone right? I'm going to try and do little things like this. Yeah, just like a lot of it for me. Say so short game, you put yourself in in spots that you go, well, you know, I've got a, I've got no chance of getting this up and down, and you just kind of stand there until you figure out a way Work to get it way. close to the hole in a in a tournament. But you know, you're pretty much guaranteed you're going to yeah, end up especially best. if you're lashing it where you lash it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm well, not slagging him off, but it is a long way. So if it goes wide, it's going wide, right? Yep, yep. I, pretty much <laughs> most of the golf courses I played growing up, there's been some places that no one else has ever been, <laughs> and most of those places aren't very good. So yeah, yeah. yeah I, I spent the majority of my amateur career and um, most of my golfing career as a kid whacking it in the trees and trying to figure out a way how to get it out <laughs> of the trees. So that was pretty good practice for, yeah. for later on in life.